At the heart of Six Sigma is the principle of variation. Six Sigma assumes that everything is a result of some process. Therefore, if your product quality varies, then this is the result of variation in the process that creates that product. To understand Six Sigma means that you first have to accept that variation exists in everything. Sometimes the variation may be too small to detect, but it's still there. Sigma, the 18th letter of the Greek alphabet, is also the mathematical symbol for standard deviation. A measure of variation and defects in a business process or the spread. Let's look at an example to put this concept of variation into perspective. Imagine you are at a shooting range, you try to hit the target. You can be off target, but consistent, no spread, that means precise. On target, but spread, that means accurate. Or you can be off target with a high variability, that means neither accurate nor precise. And you can be on target with a low variability, that means both accurate and precise. Things that cause a process to be off target are easier to identify than things that cause it to be variable, not precise. Accuracy problems are easier to solve than precision problems. If you have the right knowledge, you can look at both accuracy and precision. In business terms, precision is a useful indicator of process efficiency, which is calculated by applying various statistical principles to the concept of sigma or standard deviation. Six sigma performance is equal to 3.4 defects per million opportunities or 99.999997% efficiency. Is this realistic? Consider this. A 99% level of efficiency would mean 2,000 lost articles of mail per hour, 5,000 incorrect surgical operations per week, two short or long landings at most major airports every day, no electricity for almost seven hours each month. The telephone would not work for four hours each month unsafe drinking water for almost 15 minutes every day, or your car wouldn't run for about one hour each week. Six Sigma is a benchmark quality level and not the aim. An average company operating at around 3.5 Sigma will typically spend around 20 to 30 percent of its revenues resolving and fixing internally generated problems. A Six Sigma service company's cost of poor quality is less than 5 percent. What is your organization's cost of poor quality?